Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel family channel. Today we've got this nice gift from High CC Groom, these cat glove wipes, their new formulation, and this nice pet skin skincare spray. So the gloves are pretty much similar to what we had the last time, but this time they have a massaging side. And this nice little bag here, I've opened the box and taken one out, is only one mitt. So it's kind of good for touch-ups. I mean, great for a cat, you could do the whole cat. For dogs here, um, I would use it maybe to clean areas that are sore or um, just for deodorizing, let's say feet or cleaning their, maybe just inside their ears for a quick wipe. Amber has some little bumps on her back. She got bitten by some bugs and she's kind of scabby. You can't see it. It's under her fur, thank goodness. And we've been using the pet skincare spray on it. But today I thought I would clean her back with these nice little cat gloves and maybe clean just inside her ears where she gets dirty and maybe give her paws a wipe. We'll try one bag here. Cole may try another bag on some of his things. He always gets a little bit of a dirty ear, so we could try that on him and clean his feet and his, and his bum maybe. Get sometimes a bit scabby back there, so we could do that. I've used the nice pet skincare spray as well on um ever had a hot spot from her when she was in heat wearing her pants too much i don't know she got a little rub back there in a hot spot so i used this nice pet skincare spray here there we go um on her bum and i cleaned it just to clean as many times as you want in a day so a couple times three or four times so it's for wound and skincare antimicrobial no alcohol safe if licked for cuts, abrasions, and acne. So we're gonna try, we've been trying that on her back, which has been helping. I just thought I'd give it a little, little clean. Yep, so it says here, you use with a conjunction of high CC groom glove wipes for proper cleansing and moisture balance during the healing stages. So, so I'm gonna clean with the gloves and then I will spray some more of this on. So this is great here for, yeah, cuts, abrasions, acne. I would use it on hot spots. Um, dogs do seem to get acne. Amber certainly does, especially around her when she gets in season. Uh, she gets full breakout with a few. So I'm not sure if this is like an acne on her back or if it's bug bites, but really isn't very bad. But I'm just going to try to clean this up a little. You can see it's kind of dandruffy here a little bit. And that's from her scab. She's got one right in there. So we'll give that a little clean. And we'll try out these new gloves. But I think it's great, the formulation of just one in a pack. Especially if you're just doing a smaller area, it's hard to save them. I had a hard time saving them one glove when it wasn't used in the other pack. So this is great for that. But uh, if you wanted to give a whole bath with your gloves, you'd need the two for sure. So I think they, I'm pretty sure they still sell both. So then you can, you know, have bigger size ones and smaller size. I don't know if I'll have a chance to use this on the cats, but the dogs are excited to just try it. So I'm gonna open the pack here and we'll get started. Okay, here, so it's the same as the last time. We've got one side with the fluid in it and one side with the gloves. It says to apply pressure. See, squeeze this, squeeze to push the solution through the middle tunnel. Soak the dry glove for 30 seconds. I'm gonna squeeze. There we go, I heard it pop. Push it all through. Maybe down a bit too, so yeah. I'm massage it in here for 30 seconds. There's a nice little tear slip at the top. Opens up just the pouch with the glove. And now my glove is all nice and super soaked. And you can see this is the little massaging side. So this side you use after. First we'll give it a cleanse with this side and we'll massage through with the other side. It really has no odor except for a clean smell. There's no perfume, nothing like that, which is great for people with allergies. I'm going to guess so the bumps are on the outside. Here I'm in the glove. This thumb didn't get completely wet. And I'll massage it. It is very damp, which is good. It's dripping a little bit out here, uh, but that's okay. You just have to do it somewhere where you could clean the floor after you've used it. I'll take this over to Ember and we'll get started. Okay, so here's Ember in her back. I'm going to take the glove and I'm just going to wipe it, massage it through. Fur, just give it a clean. You can see it is wet, but it's not soaking. I'm also going to do her face. Amber, can you sit? Okay, I'm going to clean her eyes here. She gets gooey eyes sometimes. I'm just going to try to give her eyes a little clean. And I'll open her ears. She's going to leave after this. She won't like this, but we'll give her inner ear just a little, pop a little clean. And also, because they're Spaniels, they've got these long hair, I'm going to clean the bottom of her ear. Just a bit, because it gets in her food and snacks. 
that will just be helpful and keep her looking cleaner and inside her ear. As you all know, she's just been to a dog show, so she really isn't that dirty. Just clean that. I also, another spot on a spaniel or I don't, any sort of dog, so the inside of their lips here can get really dirty. So I'm gonna give a little clean to her chin and her lips. We'll look at our glove. Oh, you can see there was something somewhere there. A little bit of a dirty mark. Okay, so I flipped the glove over. So these little pads here, they would especially be for a cat and a dog. They have a rough tongue. Cats are more rough than dogs, but it's like them licking themselves, right? I can feel the little butt rubbery silicone bumps on here. So it would be like when they're massaging their own skin. I'm just gonna give her a little clean over and then we'll go and try cool. I won't use it in any dirty areas, but I'll use her dirt tummy maybe a little bit. I'd like to do her feet. I might do those last. I'll just give her a little massage and then we'll let her dry. We'll see what she looks like and we'll give cool just a little little wash. There's no dirt on this here, but it must have felt nice. Amber, okay, try cool. You want to have a try? Cole is finding it too hot out, so he's been dripping drooly all over his legs. I'm going to clean up his leg and his foot a little bit here. And I'm going to do his face. He definitely gets dirty. His chin here. He's been drooling a bit this summer and he's got some staining. So I'm going to try it on that. See, maybe that'll use both sides of the glove. He gets a nice massage there. Yeah. I'm do your back just a bit. Just get him a little bit of a natural, more of a shine come out. We'll rub his face. Do inside his ears here. Oh, it's you, buddy. Yeah, you need ear clean. That that was a dirty ear. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe this will help. Cole doesn't gets his ears cleaned about every week. He just seems to run with a little bit of dirt in his ear. Not ever an ear infection, just a bit of dirt. Both ears all dirty. We'll clean the bottoms where the food comes in. I know it's too hot. We're going in a sec. I'll do a side here, maybe where he pees a little bit. Clean cold lifts his legs so he does get it on his fur. Always does one side though. I don't remember which, but so one side. And then I'm going to clean his feet here just a little bit. Take a paw. Bubble his feet a little bit. And up here, this leg he was drooling on. Have this buckly. Good boy. Yeah. Good to get in between their toes, especially with the grass. There's grass seeds or other little things that going around in the grass that get stuck and give them a sore foot. So it is good to clean there. This is be a perfect thing for that. Just keep some clean feet. Maybe do it once a week. One more foot, buddy. At boy. <laughs> Nicole, I'm gonna clean his bum. He always has a dirty bum, so we'll give that a quick clean under here. And then I'll clean Ember's feet and we'll let them dry and we'll see what they look like. We'll be right back. So there, I've cleaned everybody. I did Ember's feet, I did Cole's feet, I did their bums and their heads and I kind of gave them all a rub over. I really didn't think they were that dirty, but my gloves say otherwise. This, this is the massaging side and it got quite dirty. And this other side here, the cleaning side, that was Cole's ears, but they're still brown on here and that was from their backs. It is still damp, I could clean more. I could use this one part of the wrist here. It's not very dirty. I could clean more of that. Um, they're both still a teeny bit damp, but they always feel so soft and have a fur kind of glows after they get this clean. Anyways, we would rec definitely recommend these cat and dog gloves um, for cleaning the high CC, especially with the antimicrobial. It's great. And um, deodorizing treatment, it's, it has no smell and it's perfect for cleaning, especially as really good for the cat. Some of them never bathes her cats and this is their only cleaning they get and then they're both so soft and feel really nice for at least a month maybe even six weeks sometimes um, they both need doing it again so we may pop a teeny video in of them getting cleaned or we may not we'll see how we go we're also going to keep using this pet skin spray um, care spray on ember to see how it's working but it's so far it's been everything's been healing it's taking a little bit longer but her back is still drying here but I can feel already this the kind of crunchy little bit of scab she had there are gone so we got those rubbed off. Maybe now they'll heal if I put some more spray on later today. And Cole is way too hot out here, but he's looking beautiful and already glossy. He already dried. He's all dry. I didn't, wasn't as wet when I put it on him, but it did clean him really nicely. He's kind of got a shine going on, anybody? And the little orange drool on his legs look much better. So Emma and Cole are still a little damp. They're mostly dry, as you can see. Cole, he's really shiny. 
But Ember here, she's just about finished. And look at this nice, lovely glow on her. This nice box that we got here, also it has six individual packs in the box. I'm gonna just open it and show you, there we go. This is a really full bo filled box. We used one, so we have five left. And our spray, and then we did get a handy little flea comb, which I don't have, and thank goodness we don't have fleas right now, but I will put it in my grooming box in case we need it or any client needs it and we will use it on them. Hey guys, what do you think? You're gonna smell nice now. Let me have a quick whiff. Oh, you smell beautiful. Almost brought out some of her shampoo smell that she had, but she's looking, look at this back. It looks gorgeous. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. And thank you so much, Hi CC Groom, for a lovely package. They are looking for pet testers for these new products. I will leave their links below for Facebook, Instagram, and their Amazon account um, where you can go and buy these lovely products. Thanks so much. Take care. Please subscribe.